Hello and welcome to the fifth part of setting up OneCloud server. In this part we're gonna take a look how you can set up your WordPress blueprint or canvas. What is WordPress canvas? WordPress canvas is a WordPress tool inside OneCloud to make your life easier. With canvas you can predefine how your WordPress installation will look, you can customize the themes, uh, plugins to install, your permalink structure, languages and other settings before the WordPress installation. WordPress Canvas is a business feature in RunCloud and you may add up up to 50 themes and 50 plugins to install. So let's get started with the WordPress Canvas. Before we go inside the WordPress Canvas settings, we need to create our web application that will host all our plugins in a zip file because uh, RunCloud Canvas will download those plugins and install it on the WordPress. So let's get started to create our web application that will hold our plugins. In your main server dashboard, you want to deploy a new web application. And here you can choose empty web application. It will be just a simple PHP application. You want to name it Canvas. System user, you're gonna go video user that you created. For domain, you want to add your subdomain. So for my case, it's gonna be canvas.webnestify.uk. You can choose your domain. Uh, DNS integration, we will add manually. SSL, we go with the basic one. And for PHP, we're gonna select 8.1 as usual. And as I told you before, before deploying your web application, you need to add the CNAME record to your Cloudflare. So let's go to the DNS settings. We want to add a record. You can add a record with name Canvas, or you can add a CNAME record and you can target your root domain. So for this, we're going to go back with the A record. And make sure the record is proxified because we want to secure the Canvas application. And we go save. And now we go back to deploy our web application. Okay. After a couple of seconds, we can go back and check our SSL certificate. Our SSL is ready. And now we can go create our page rule, uh, sec uh, firewall rule that will protect unauthorized access to our canvas. That means you want to only allow your server and your IP to be able to download your plugins. Because many, many panels uh, that have this feature, uh, there is no way how you can protect your uh, plugin storage. So let's go back to our Cloudflare. We go to the security, WAF, and I already prepared the rule for the canvas. Let me walk you through. So basically, you want to add your rule name, which is canvas. In the field, you want to select their host name contains and this URL you can change it for your and you want to add and and you select IP source address does not equal to your web server IP address as you can see you need to add this IP address and also your home IP address if you have your dedicated IP but for this this is completely enough and we're gonna click save Once we have this rule, we want to connect to our web application via FTP. You can check how you can set up your FTP connection in the previous part of this series. So let's go back to our WinSCP. And if you are on Windows, Mac or Linux, you can use FileZilla or any other FTP client. Okay, so we connected to our training server. 
as you can see we go to the web apps we have our canvas web application and we want to copy all of the files there we already have code box here okay let's refresh and that's it and feel free to add all of your plugins that you want to use with your blueprint websites now we need to go back to the browser and let's try to download our plugin we're gonna go canvas.wednesday.uk slash wp codebox.zip as you can see anyone can download those plugins but when we enable this firewall rule that we created before we should be presented by the blocking rule sometimes it takes a couple seconds to propagate or maybe i need to open the incognito window the private window let me figure this out how can i add a second window to capture there a window capture incognito okay and as we type our plugin on our domain we are presented by the deny screen for the cloudflare that means only your web server and you will have access to, to those plugins because sometimes there are internet scrapers or bot scrapers that are looking for uh, plugins to download so they can sell it on some uh, sh shady website I think there was one of WPTeams.com that was selling the pro plugins without the license for monthly subscription. So in this way you will prevent to scrape your web application for plugins. Okay, once this this we have, we can go to create our canvas inside the RunCloud. For this you need to go to the settings. And you see WordPress canvas and we're gonna create our new canvas let me close this bar we want to name our canvas blueprint or we can call it the def default you want to remove hello page sample page all default themes uninstall all default plugins and remove installation files that are not needed for teams, you can add the team from the WordPress repository. For example, you can type 20 and you can add the 2022. You also want to activate it after the installation. And for the plugins, you can add your preferred plugins from the WordPress repository. For me, it's going to be all in one WP migration. And also, I'm using Postmark, so I will add a Postmark as MTP. And add. We're going to activate those as well. And here is the magic. In the custom plugins theme section, you can select what you want to install, a plugin or theme. If you are using Bricks, you want to name it Bricks and you want to add HTTPS. And the URL you set up your WordPress canvas. So for me, it is canvas that must define that UK, and you're gonna name your bricks that zip file that you uploaded via FTP. We didn't use bricks, we use only plugins, so we're gonna 
name this to WP code box and we're gonna add our WP code box zip. We can copy this URL because we have other two plugins. Second one was VS Forms Crow. And we can go VS Forms Pro. That zip. And our last plugin was the Happy Files. And it was Happy Files Pro. That zip and you can also select activate and happy files we keep unactivated for the demonstration purposes and also if you have any other plugins you need to add those plugins here and for the predefined settings you can select side language as you can see you have access to all languages that are wordpress supporting for this we're gonna go with english English please, yes. Time zone we can select London for example. It is completely up to you which time zone you are in. You can choose the date format you want to use, time format you want to use. You can organize uploads in the month and year based folders. You want to also discourage search engine and the permalinks is usually the post name. And when we have everything that we want, we just create our canvas. As you can see, our canvas is named default. We have one team, two plugins from the WordPress repository, and also three custom plugins uploaded in our web application. And now it's time to create our web application from this canvas. So for this, you go to the web application and you want to deploy a new web app. It is going to be WordPress. We're going to name it. We can name it Blue, Blueprint. User going to be training. Our domain is going to be Blueprint. webnestify.uk DNS we're gonna add it manually as usually we go to our DNS add records we're gonna go with the C name now we're gonna be blue print target our root domain make sure it is proxified also we select basic title blueprint Blueprint generate strong and complicated password. We're gonna use the password email. We wanna add your email. And here you have canvas. So you want to select your default canvas that you created. And to keep this video short, we're gonna only add the 8.1. And we're gonna leave the, the database default and we're gonna deploy our blueprint and now we will see the progress of the blueprint how is in installing let me check notifications it's starting installing canvas and here you can see the progress so once this is done we will continue Okay, our blueprint is completed. We can go back check our SSL. We go to dashboard and we open our blueprint site. WP admin. Username was blueprint and the password we selected. As we can see, we have all plugins that we installed and activated. 
only thing left unactivated was Happy Files Pro. And when we check our teams, here is our 2022 team. And now it's time to configure your plugins on this Blueprint site because Run Cloud Canvas feature doesn't allow you to create already have configured plugins with your settings and everything. For this, we want to use the clone feature. So let's assume we have all our plugins and themes activated. We go back to our blueprint site. And in, in the previous series, I showed you how you can create your clone. So here is the same process. You just choose your server, database, and that's pretty it. You have your WordPress canvas, and then you have your clone web application with the plugins activated, configured for your default settings that you want. I hope that you really like this video, and if you have any questions, any comments, or if you run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I will be happy to answer you. What's next in our sixth part of the series? I think uh, we can go check our light speed settings and also how we can set up the Redis object caching in the run cloud because by default it is not activated. So stay tuned for the next episode next week and yeah, stay tuned and bye bye.